Wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, was recently doing a little commentary on same-sex marriage, and here's what he had to say. I, you know, there's been a lot of fucking stuff in the news uh, lately about same-sex marriage. Everybody's going crazy about this, and some of the churches say, oh, no, can do, you can't do that. I'm for same-sex marriage. I don't give a shit if two guys, two gals, uh, guy, gal, wh whatever it is, I believe that any human being in America or any human being in the goddamn world that wants to be married, if it's the same sex, more power to them. And, and what also chaps my ass, Teddy, is that one of these churches or some of these churches have the, have the high horse that they get on and say, we as a church do not believe in that. Which one of these motherfuckers talked to God and God said that same-sex marriage was a no-can do? Can you, can you verify? Can you give me some 411? Dude, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. He got me back into wrestling. You know that like, so when I was a kid, I used to watch it all the time. Hulk, Iron mm -hmm. Sheik, who I'm gonna interview soon, by the way. Uh, or Jimmy Superfly Snooker, et cetera. And then I let it go, you know, because I'm not a kid anymore, et cetera. And then one day, uh, I happened to catch it on TV and you got Stone Cold. I mean, forget the stunner. Like, he kicks somebody's ass and says, somebody get me a beer, <laughs> right? I was like, fuck, I like this guy. He's the original badass, man. <laughs> and then I watched wrestling for a couple more years because of Stone Cold. Mm -hmm. and, and he's like old school in the sense of like Johnny Cash. Like people think like, oh, country singers, WWE, oh, they're gonna be, you know, right wingers and stuff like that. No, Johnny Cash said, fuck the establishment, right? Mm -hmm. And Stone Cold is basically saying something similar here. Like, hey man, leave people alone. Like, if I'm, if you, I'm gonna do a liberal, uh, I'm gonna do a beer cannon, I'm, gonna, I'm the kind of guy who is not gonna put up with any bullshit. You think I'm gonna let be, listen to some guy tell me what to do and bow my head? I'm gonna be an authoritarian? I'm gonna be a conservative and say, oh yeah, well, what orders can I follow? No, hell no, I'm gonna be my own man. Yeah, what I love that he kind of touched on was the idea of religion kind of controlling the lives of other people with actual, with no merit, with no real, evidence to back up the reasons why they're doing it, right? So a lot of people will take religion, they'll twist it in order to meet their agenda. And, and the reason why I say that, even if they don't twist it, let's say they use religion, they'll cherry pick certain parts of religious doctrine to meet their agenda or whatever is um, easy for them, whatever works for them in their lifestyle, right? So you always mentioned the shellfish thing. I think that that's always a great point. We don't have laws against shellfish and we don't have religious people trying to ban shellfish, even though the Bible says that you shouldn't eat it. But then we have people saying abortion it should be illegal, same-sex marriage should be illegal, you shouldn't have premarital sex. Anything that they feel is a little taboo, they'll use their religion as a reason to dictate our laws, and I absolutely hate that. So I love that he touched on that a little bit. It's really good. Okay, I love the other quote as well. I don't think that there is a God that says you cannot do this, you cannot. Okay, so you uh, two cats can't get married if they want to get married. But then a guy can go murder 14 people, molest five kids, then go to fucking prison and accept God and he's going to let them into heaven. After the fact that he did all that shit. See, that's all horse shit to me. That don't jive with me. Uh, Who doesn't love Stone Cold? That don't jive with me. Listen to me, these two, two cats come in. <laughs> I love this guy. Somebody get him a beer. God, that's cool, man. That is. I love that's how open-minded he is. Yeah. That's stone cold. And to me, that shows me how strong he is in his own sexuality, right? right. It's always the people that get on their high horse and they talk about how same-sex marriage and being gay is terrible and you're going to burn and you know, hell for the rest of your for the rest of eternity, uh, you know, whatever. But like if you're a straight guy and you're not you know, worried about anything, you're like, yeah, let them get married. I don't give a shit. Like it doesn't it doesn't impact my life in any way. If you'd like Question Stone Cold sexuality. See how it turns out for you. <laughs> you might have a stunning surprise.